Olympic champion to play and stuff. So lo uh, localized says all my coworkers will never understand the references I make. Constantly saying later bitches at work will not get you far though. Love the stream. Keep it up. Peace and love from Florida. MT uh, Trick Arena PS. Do you have any of those signed mouse pads left? Mm. Uh, I don't actually, but you know maybe Minions we can do some uh, some giveaway. Well, I don't. What the fuck's that noise? <laughs> Oh, that's outside. Okay, I forgot I have the windows open. So I'm not too loud. Not everyone will hear me. Well, it's nine o'clock anyway. Saturday. Ah, uh, but yeah, let's get this shit started. So starting here, smites are right off the bat. That's that's perfectly fine. Um, you know when you go utility, you have pretty much just extra sustain with life steal. Uh, you know you get cooldowns. Um, your summoner spell. It's reduced by one second when you have summoners inside. Um, your tellies get the, will get that 10% though, the full. Um, so yeah, he's gonna have a, a gift of the heavy hands, if I'm not mistaken. And he's gonna go tiger second, so it's gonna be easier. Um, to get through this, get an extra attack speed, more stuns from the gift, or the heavy hands, passive. So once he gets over here to these, if he's gonna pour back um, onto the tower after finishing lead two can, you wanna tiger stance this one and then kill the baby small ones when phoenix and have that extra attack speed to be able to get the more uh, more procs out of your your phoenix and then go back into the tiger onto the last one but instead he's going to come over the wolf camp i don't know why he would do that i guess he's just scared of it he's not going to port back and he still has his biscuit so he actually might stay out and fucking phoenix already man activate that shit you should have activated phoenix into tiger for some reason he wants to stay full mana when he's running teleport unless he plans on ganking a lane and teleporting in he is just wasting a lot of time right now because I would have done ported onto this tower after killing Lee Toucan. Had my jungle item, so every single camp I do, I'm going to get 10 extra gold. Um, right? 10 extra gold from 20, so it's 30 altogether plus the gold you get for killing the monsters and the baby ones. And you have to clear everything. Um, you know, on both sides, I guess, you're going to get a timer, but it's just so much gold. You see how it gives you, uh, what do you call it? That gives you 20 gold, that little baby one right there. The main one, what is it, 54 total? So it gave him like 34 or 30, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. The, the baby ones are worth. So, yeah, complete your jungle item. You know, that would have been 20 extra gold. And, of course, you get smite charges. Uh, um, extra, well, if you're running trailblazer, you're going to have that extra uh, sustain if you stack them up. And you'll be able to stay out in the jungle uh, for, for a longer period of time. So he's gonna come over and do this. So that you know, it, this shit adds up, man. It adds up. Oh, so now he backs, but it looks like he's gonna go back, man. No, doesn't do anything. Katarina not need needing any help. He's still level four right now. He's gonna meet up with Young Cho. So here again, he's gonna be wasting more time. Hey, I wonder if he's gonna let him go. He's got a lot. What a bitch! You know you a bitch when you uh, wait for somebody to pour it back so you can form Lee Two Can. And he's Cho'Gath, meanwhile, it's the same thing. Yo, oh, fuck, I didn't move everybody. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Rek'Sai, all right. So he doesn't use it to port back in. You know, like I said, use teleport to your advantage, man. Do three camps, you know, within that minute, port back, you're back in the game. So everything you do, you're gonna get extra gold. It's worth actually taking shit. Well, it's still worth regardless if you don't back, but yeah, I mean, it's easier. Plus, you back, you probably buy an extra pot. You come in, you smite that. Next smite's up in 31. You know, of course, uh, 5 point. This is 5.1, right? So, 5.1, you know, you get extra smite charge. Um, and that's, you know, when you go Trailblazer, like he did, he never has to back. He has attack speed, so it's going to make it easier. Uh, the jungle, he hasn't gone. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't think you need Tiger. I think Tiger is pretty. I mean, my bad. Uh, Turtle right now this early. Um, something happened. Uh, I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I'm gonna focus more on him and what he needs to do. You know, as time goes on. See, I would probably, yeah, he would be level level five right now before the five minute mark. If he just farm, well, at the five, I think it's good. So there's the stun, the bouncing blades, the dot, the flame, the dot, and nicely done. Big mistake here. A big wave. Don't give a fuck what um. And this bitch, you know, I, I don't care what Katarina says. You push this wave right here. You just hit level five off that. You push this right here, Swain. You oh see him? My, like he's not. He's yeah. laying down. I'm acting like a fucking um, No, uh, Cause Miner, welcome. So you see him laying down right now for 11 seconds. Cho'Gath, 
right here. He just got done ganking top and getting some results. So, you know, what you do is you apply pressure when you want to win game. The next wave is right here, but it's a caddy wave. Remember, Swain, okay? So, when this comes up, this is already cleared because uh, Udyr is helping. Now this next wave comes up. So if you're standing right here and you let this come out, you push this with Katarina. Katarina has a lot of AoE, bouncing blades, sinisters, uh, uh, steel, and you know her shun pole. Whoop de do. You know, still hits and does damage. So they would already push this to the turret already. Force and choke out to come mid. But if nobody comes mid, if, if ever the enemy jungle is low, and like I said, it doesn't matter what elo it is, you push mid. Um, but instead he goes back into his own jungle. It has a smart char uh, charge, so he can smite this, make life easier. But he would have uh, been able to do this after, plus he didn't have to worry about his his red spawn at any time soon because he'd still have a minute on there to farm whatever's left. So yeah, pushing that. And then Swain just pulls up. So if you have a big enough wave here and you're able to focus this wave before Swain comes in, you just push three waves right there. Got all that free experience. You're making Swain miss the, the first two waves when you push. Um, so even though you're sharing it with Katarina, he's not getting anything out of it. So... You know, little things like that. No, they're not little. They're big things, but nobody ever does it. And when you learn how to do that, and you learn how to control and know what to do after that, uh, you'll be able to cr control games and and you know, and just be able to feel what you need to do uh, in certain situations if you decide to do you know the the, the deer trolls. You know, I always fuck up. I do this. I run around. Um, but if you play a smooth game, then it's you know it's you know you're not doing your own uh, uh, thing by just like just backdoor and everything I don't know it's kind of hard to uh, explain if you troll a lot but you st still try to win you know all right but yeah that's probably what I need to work on a little bit more so I can show you guys is to run it down mid strat uh, especially in season five, I think it's gonna be very big uh, for you guys. And Shadow it, it keeps walking forward, tanks a turret shot, not gonna have enough damage. So, see, like right there, he doesn't have his jungle item completed. Um, it's only seven minutes in, but it feels like it's um, a little bit, I guess, I don't know, around the 12 minute mark. I mean, he should have had his jungle item completed. You know, at the very beginning of the game, didn't do lead two can, didn't back early, and did three extra cams. Would have had, uh, you know, in, in you know, using your teleport, you know, at the whatever three minute mark, it'd be up around the, the eight minute mark. So, you know, it's it, you're just going back and forth. And level seven on Katarina Udir, let's see, level six, you know, like I said, didn't get the, the free waves in mid, uh, never used teleport to his advantage to pick up his jungle item. Th all this time adds up. You know, when you run teleport, that's the whole point of teleport. Has he even used it once? No, it's like he's saving it for something, like somebody's gonna, you know, get dove and he's gonna come in and probably not get anything anyway he's got one point in turtle he's level six right now not yeah i guess two more camps he'll be level seven but he's far behind in my eyes i think this game he could have easily been uh close to eight right now or at eight um and then you know just continue to farm up and look for the lanes the uh camp top lane 57 cs the uh, 39. Rek'Sai, you know, 0-1. I guess Cho'Gath picked up a kill earlier. Uh, does he have Ignite? He has Ignite. So that's, you know, if, if there's any lane to go now, it's probably top. And then Cho'Gath's gonna sit here and hit this thing for about 6 days. Okay, he's just gonna eat that thing. Uh, makes sense. I didn't realize he had that. Um, but yeah. He's gonna pour it in onto Dragon after doing blue. So throw it in Turtle before going into it. Don't... Let's do it. Uh... Just do it, man. Do it. Like, fuck it. He can do it without uh, anybody. Alright, so it looks like Janna's gonna come over, but it's gonna be a little bit too late. I have Blitz Graves over here, and Cat just sitting off to the side, taking this pink ward. The blue comes in. And also, I'd probably look to try to do four or five minute dragons. If if you don't use teleport to your advantage, well, of course, you would want to do that when picking up your, first, uh, your upgrade. Um, you know, if it's a trailblazer, you're gonna just have that, you know, sustain plus getting, um, uh, those early stacks on it, uh, and for sustain, but the dragon needs to probably be picked up, you know, drop a ward and pour it inside of it, and get that out of the way. Yeah, you play with your guys, two dragons is all you need. Three, of course, is, is, you know, good too. You know, I feel like once you get two, and you got the Krug, and you start splitting later on, if you want to do that with teleport, um, there you go. Um, you'll be able to do more damage to towers and take them faster. 
But I don't know. I, I don't think it's a good idea to force him. But when you're when you have teleport, you're just level five at the four minute mark. So dragons, it, it's easy to kill. And I I, I think I did at level when I was level five with Udyr at the five minute mark and, and did it with no problems. All right, so there's the chase. The missile's coming out. Will he get the knockup? I think the thing is on a low, long cooldown. Yeah. He's getting a little. He gets a little bit of extra movement speed. I think J4 has enough for a combo. He just throws his flag. Um. All I had to say about that. Rip. All right, so there you go. After that, Shogat's mid. He's kind of low. I wouldn't say... I don't think he's diveable. Uh, unless you get the bear stance and you got the burst. All right, there's the rupture. He smites the minion. Probably should have waited before smiting. Nom, nom. All right, so there you go. He's going to get this tower. He, uh, just ignore this shit. Just fucking might as well. No one's coming mid. So that's how easy it was. Choke out the fucking useless, <laughs> fucking ruptured, and just looked at him. So, you know, that's why you do that shit three, four minutes, five minutes earlier uh, in this game. Because the faster you do what you just saw right there, the, the more easier and the more time it's going to get you to, to figure something out. And if you don't know what the fuck to do, at least you know what to do at that point of the game and realize how easy it is. And then, you know, you just take it one step at a time. You don't want to just like, okay, I'm just going to take it to the 50 minute mark. Solo tank every time. No, fuck that, man. You want to learn how to snowball and, and control the game from the very start. At any given time, you know, whether it's off somebody's mistake, you know, Swain fucking up, going in too hard. You came in and cleaned up, wave, and pushing down mid. You know, even right now, if I killed Swain, which is going to be kind of hard right now, because he's got a rod, he's got a rod of ages, Thorns Ring, and Udera is not at that. You know, he's he's not power level. He's not level 10, 11. Doesn't have that that Merc's already completed and maybe an, like an HP, MR, or defensive item to walk all over this swing. Probably could have been two levels above this guy if you played it, you know, right. And that's what you have to do when you play the deer. You have to learn how to be selfish. Um, he's a little too close on this. There's the flag toss. Let's see if he can get the kill. He comes in. Nope, doesn't. But yeah, that, I think that's one thing I, I don't say. Like, you have to be selfish, but you have to know what to do with all that, uh, that CS and farm and the levels you get. And... Learn how to pressure and take these objectives and, and where they go after that and tell your team what to do uh, when, when, when it gets, when, when laning phase is over. You know, you take over that lane and whether if it takes you five minutes of just farming that same old lane and whatever you can get out of the jungle, oh my, um, like not, then that's, yeah. that's what you do. I'm and like and a by that time, boy, it's, sorry, it's like sorry. 20 minutes in game. And then, you know, what do you do after that? Oh shit, dragon's about to spawn. You pick up that dragon. And if it takes three or four dragons, as long as you're controlling the game, and keeping the enemy team off their toes, you'll figure out how to close games out. There's a flash out. Yeah, it's probably a bad fight, but if he goes in and he needs to keep it in Phoenix, he's now nope, he needs to let this bitch die. Boom, there's the Shonpo. She's gonna die, so. Yeah, that right there, you know, he's level 9 till level 10 swing. He's, he's, you know, indecisive. Um, he's very, uh, he's like, oh, should I go hint into this shit? I don't know. Um, and. Uh, he's just, uh, he just runs in there with bear stands. And he's not able to do anything but just watch Katarina die. And it looks like he's typing over to, uh, Katarina. Alright, so, let's see. Katarina's dead. Can push the next wave. Nobody's there. No one that Swain went back. But either way, it doesn't matter. You know, like I said, um... He has teleport. It's gonna be a while for him. What's his score anyway? I haven't checked. A zero one, uh, one right now. Katarina CS sixty four, Swain eighty nine, Ezreal one uh, ninety four to one ten on Graves. So Graves has that, but you know, as it's got, he's three oh one right now, and he's going for a Triforce in a early last whisper. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I think it's gonna be an early last whisper. Uh, same level as yeah, so he's same level as the AD carry one. Like I said, guys, when you play Udir, you're you're selfish, but you just gotta learn what to do with that uh that shit. And if you don't know what to do with it, then it's it's gonna be a waste. And you know your 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 team's gonna be like yo, you just took all my shit, and you know you fucked them over. Alright, see, so no smite. He might save his smite. 
Oh, for Toad. I think he has smite, right? Yeah, nice. I would've done the same thing, too, and then back. After that, his teleport's up right now. Um, gold. 1900, uh, or a th thousand. He has enough for his, his Phage Arena. Um, but yeah, man. <sighs> oh, port's in. That's, uh, the, I think it's his first port. Complete waste for, uh, what do you call it? At this, at this moment, I'm a fucking port behind these motherfuckers, and boom. You know, they're already this deep with no minion wave, so they went in pretty hard, and so that would have been two kills right there. Dragon is up, but you would have killed probably one or two, and then you got fuck-ass uh, Rek'Sai dying top. And now you have no blast summoner, so if you get caught, Katarina's off to the side, Ezreal goes down, will they be able to do anything about this? There's no wards inside, there is a ward right there, but the pink ward is not able to uh, get a reading on that. And Shogath has to bite Arena, you going in baby, you going in, yo stun this motherfucker, boom. Who just, who smited? Oh, Shogath smited, okay, so he couldn't get got that. Nice ulti by Janna. And there's another thing, when they're doing Dragon, probably better to push mid, you know, all that time when this wave was here, you probably could have pushed the next one. And just got pressure instead of just not doing anything, uh, Graves dying, so, you know, sometimes you have to trade. I mean, what does Dragon do for somebody if they don't know what to do with it, you know, or if they, you know, they're just playing a comp where they're not, they're not trying to open the gates. I mean, does it do anything besides give you extra, so, you know, I guess dragons, you can say, are useless, but I guess if you learn how to, you know, take dragons and realize how easy it is, and you get that, you know, dragon lead early, because it's never, you know, like I said, contested, never warded early, so you're able to pick the first two, three up before people even realize that, you know, dragon is it, exists, so, um... So yeah, you know, getting those and, and getting them for free and not losing much out of it, especially with the extra smite charges. If you're out in the field, you have to do red buff and dragon's buff. The second one's about to spawn. You can smite that, get HP, and then ha have your other charge. So, you know, I, I like that. I like that very much. I think it will. I don't know. They, they should do this. Katarina's there. Swain's coming in. Uh, there's a rupture. Not hitting nobody. And, and here's another thing. So right here, you know, at this point, it's a little crowded. So... This is the same thing, you know, in this ELO bronze, silver, or whatever, if you're trying to climb into the diamond, like, be here and push mid and tell Swain to keep his bitch ass in his mid lane. So, then you keep, you know, the enemy team on their toes right now. So, they're going to stand top. Now, here, they only get close to the enemy turret, and they'll probably end up dying or running back or getting very low and, or risking their life. As you can see, Shadow going in, dropping a bear stance when they're all low and they're sitting next to the turret. So, Rek'Sai is going to go mid and looks like, um... He's gonna sit in that bush, and they're gonna miss everything. They're gonna chase like Bronzies, and boom. And they're still chasing. Missiles coming out. They do have vision, but Rip Arena. So that right there is called much wasted. Meditation. Yep, I don't think he's fucking laughing no more. <laughs> yeah, that was probably a bad idea. What is it? What fucking elo is this? All right, so yeah, I mean, that right there, straight up unnecessary. The red team doesn't get anything out of that. Besides almost fucking going down and sacrificing their lives to die of a fucking Katarina. Uder just taunted them and, and went down. Oh. Swain getting some free time. Rek'Sai coming down too. So let's see, let's see, Katarina dead? That's a, that's a free talent. You know, and then he goes in and dies right after. And they're too pussy to even try to take this turret. And no, they get it, so. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Alright, my drink's gone. Rip. So yeah, um, yeah, big mistake to die there. You know, start pressure and shit, man. Um, let's there's a pink ward, he's gonna take it out. Cho'Gath and Rek'Sai, I think, see this. He's, you know, he's gonna get knocked up. If he gets touched by this guy, he's got a red buff. There's a knock up. Silence. Red buff applied, he walks through, drops a stun, nice. Gets smited. Did he get smited or, boom, no knock up. J4, man the fuck up, you pussy. J4 could've easily just walked in there and just mauled the living fuck out of him. I don't know, hold the fuck on. I probably would have ulted first and tried to force a flash. They didn't even have flash. No, he should have just comboed right in onto both of them. Auto attack, reset, 
And then Udyr would have been easily... Uh, oh, he would have been able to turn on that. I'll we'll just go back in and stun for a young 4. But... Yeah, J4 doesn't... And in Cho'Gath, he's fucking useless. He's got a Rata Aegis. And Mobos with uh, uh, Juggernaut. Swain's gonna die here, but he might take somebody with him. Nope, he's just gonna take his life uh, and run towards his team. And Katarina might want to be a little bit careful. I've never seen anything like this before. Where's the bear trap? Ignite. Does he have Zanyas? Doesn't. He's getting life steal back. Where's the grave damage coming in? And now there's a exhaust drop. True shot gonna miss. He slides to gets knocked up. Missiles land. There's the rupture. And a knock up, a knock up from a wreck. Um, will be more than enough. So there you go. It's just, you know, people getting caught. People fail and realize that, you know, that fight's not gonna get anything. Uh, for you except for three of your guys dying and Swain the only one going down so you know J4 staying in his lane you know failed to realize that he could have easily walked over or just walked all over Rek'Sai and J uh, Cho'Gath and just these three right here going on to Swain after blowing the flash could have just e just pushed mid and just pressured this lane back up Uder could have just ran bottom instead of seeing his team in uh uh, uh, in a fight he goes and joins and doesn't do anything but watch when you could have been in lane uh, pushing the lane out and then after you know your team dies they would have to come to you and try to stop you and then sometimes they get blinded when you play Udyr they will send five at you every single time you know a lot of times they send you know the whole team they'll just go for the whole team so you just need lanes to be pushed gets the toad uh, he bought a spectral cow I see this is the thing about the gates build you, you know I hate having not you know having it completed all right, so looks like uh, Janna's coming. Knock up, Katarina. They need to be very careful, fucking Swain. Up uh, oh, the hook lands. Now Rupture gonna. Yeah, they're gonna have to back up. They don't want to fight this right now, especially with the peelage from Cho. If he's there, knock up onto Blitz. There's Torment. Some other abilities being dropped. True, true shot, not gonna land. And let's see, there's the uh, uh, the bear trap. Gear goes down to the bite, and there's the missiles landing. They do have vision, and Dragon is up, and. Young Sai gonna still get that and get off on his uh, thingy. So there you go. Mistakes again. You know, no pressure. Pressure is all you need to do. All you gotta do is push shit out. Stop standing around. Was he here? I think he was over here. You know, never group up with your team. When you group up, that's what you want this team to do. The red team. Or that's what, um, that's what they want you guys to do. You know, if you're grouped up, then you're making it easier for more like the team fight, you know, a uh, comp, you know, Cho Tank Cho'Gath does a little bit of damage with his shit or ages, you know, probably should have picked up a death cap instead of that item. But no, I don't think it really matters. I think that's, I guess it's fine. It just doesn't give you CDR, but he's going to get a frozen heart, it looks like, or a randuance and just be super tanky and just be able to uh, walk through. But yeah, if you decide to group up and you're playing Udaren, you have teleport and you're not rushing Triforce and you're not pressuring the map. You're only given more time to the enemy team to, you know, complete items. You know, you, you got a swing with almost Zanya, so he's going to be a little bit harder to kill. You just gave up another dragon to the red team. You did pick up the first one, um, but second time, you know, your bot lane died and uh, you didn't push mid hard enough or you just didn't port bottom. So, you know, you're losing these little objectives. Now the game is pretty much tied up. And J4, I don't know if Rek'Sai realizes j4 is a beast he's got 2800 in the bank right now so he can buy whatever the fuck he wants to buy if he wants to go for randuins has that enough for that and pretty close last whisper unless he decides so let's see if they can get this kill let's see the rupture comes out the bear trap after see there's the smite the nom he gets shut down uh katarina blitz just chilling looks like these two are scared and the deer um finish him banshee so this is pretty much a resident sleeper build, you know, when you spend, what is this, 2,800, 3k for a fucking item and you took, take it, you just put it next to Phage and see what you got left over, then yeah, there you go. So buy the fucking mantle, use 500 and take that other 2,300 and put it on top of tri uh, your Phage and that's your Triforce with stacks, with the attack speed, all the shit you get and run and teleport and having mercs ready. Uh, you can start AFK in bot lane, but instead your bot lane is still in laning phase when this lane's been over with and you know with mid being taken because I guess I don't know exactly what happened But you know, I think the wrong people backed or you just had a bad fight where like I said You're not gonna get anything out of it besides losing your mid turret and a couple of your teammates 
So over there, uh, stacks 21, 24 minutes in. That's not good. You know, you want 21 stacks around a little bit earlier, but he never used his teleport to his advantage. You know, like I said, you know, doing three camps, going back, buying your jungle item, then getting extra gold. So you're able to complete uh, your jungle item plus, you know, teleporting straight out after buying. That doesn't, you know, you save all that time from running out there and you're able to farm, maybe gank a lane. Boom, so there's the stun. Uh, boom, catalyst. I mean, should be able to slide through unless he used it. <laughs> You're like, man, yo. I think he just said his thing. Okay, Udyr gets this. Nicely done. But you get what I'm saying, guys? That's that's what that's how you got to see the game. And, you know, you don't have to team fight to win games. If you avoid all these fights and you have teleport and you're going bot and then, you know, either teleporting to stop the Baron or just teleporting to put more pressure or just using, you know, you know all that shit, man. And it looks like there's nothing for Graves to do. Lee Toucan gets leased. And they just quadra bang the fuck out of uh, uh, graves. So there you go. Three of you guys are dead. You're in mid lane. You you have enough for your zeal. If you decide to build a, a glacier shroud or a warden's mill, you're only delaying yourself even longer. Because, you know, if you're going to team fight in deer, you're better off not even getting phaged, but getting a, a frozen heart with the banshees uh, next. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with the build going stacks and then, you know, having to build full tank. I, I had to do it too, especially Max and Bear second. Um, because you you know your Phoenix does magic damage, and nobody's gonna be stacking MR that early. I mean, nobody on the map has MR. Uh, oh, there's the locket, so that locket will give out some resistance. But regardless, I mean, you're still fucking Phoenix. You know, you're yeah, bear stance. You're able to melt the shit out of people, but you gotta get that lead. Level 13 Ezreal to level 14, and with all the time he's wasted and never uses teleports, I mean, you just take that time. So probably wasted what easily maybe two minutes two full minutes so if he used that two minutes to you know either farm do this or that pick up more kills um he'd be uh you know higher level and then when he met up with ezreal ezreal you know level 13 at this time and he's level 16 he shits all over him he just melts the living shit out of him uh but he doesn't have that um he gets his zeal which is good you know he needs triforce now so he can you know if he gets left alone in lane he shits all over it they have rek'sai with ignite so since he has ignite he's not gonna be able to go pour back so everyone's gonna have to pour back or run all the way top and when they do that you're able to um have your team open the gates and take other towers that are still up that need to be taken especially if you're bot you know if, if lanes are losing that's what you do at this point you know that's what you're gonna do uh uh to get your teammates back in Unless, of course, you're able to walk all over him and you understand how to just shit all over a game. So he smites that, uh, gets the um, uh, heavy hands, and this guy's chasing. He's a bot, shoots a missile, runs back when he should just be pushing this out. Because he's not going to get anything without this, ch you know, chase. And, well, I guess we'll watch this fight because more and more shit. Alright, these two are sitting on top. He missed his combo. I think he might not. That was the blitz. Uh, there's the flag missing. Uh, again, never combos this Q and then birds, the silence, double kill, Swain still alive, life stealing off the minions, rupture, and there's a the knock up and J4 gonna go down. Ooh, Deer comes in, will he be able to do anything? And he's not gonna go in. Uh, he has mercy, he has movement speed, banshees, I don't know, it's all magic damage right there. And then you now Ezreal's getting some free time in lane, and with Rek'Sai, probably could have just had so much time to push this out, and Rek'Sai running down here, and then. You know, he can group up, but if he rotates mid, I'd definitely push this next wave and work on trying to take this tower. And nobody does that. You see that? One guy could have easily, you know, just stayed mid, and then they could have rotated bot to help as get this tower if he needed help or if Dragon was up. But Rek'Sai had all this time to push this, and one guy can stay mid, and other guys can do whatever need, needs to be done. You just killed four people, you know that, or two or three people, and you know that Ezreal's going to be fine taking that turret on by himself. So work on other objectives on, on, on the map. See, like, like I said, you know, Uder is gonna, it's gonna be a while for him. He doesn't have a slot open until he buys his Triforce to get his uh, Elixir of uh, Ruin. You want your Elixir of Ruin, boom, there's the bear trap. He's still chasing, he's getting life back, Ignite gets dropped. There's the grab, gets him a little bit closer to death. That was a bad idea from Blitz, and there's the knock up, and boom, they're slowly losing control of this game. Was it, I think, the blue team was up 3k at one point, but I guess it just dwindled down the drain and they're going for the Baron. The enemy, oh, yep, the deer is dead and they're going for it right now. And J4, uh, he might work his way over there, picked up a Banshees and just been sitting on the, the, the Brute and the Hydra. Katarina can get some sets. He's going in, boys! 
He slides in it. Here's oh shit. Sway picks it up. Katarina might get some motherfucking sets. And there's one set. Exhaust gets dropped. Sinister as shit ain't doing nothing today. Gets smited in. That's the end of Katarina. I thought we were going to see some legendary shit, but nope. Graves wasn't there to back his boys up, but it didn't matter. They had it, they had it pretty low. If J4 would have got that Baron, that would have been some legendary shit. But um, 300 gold and plus the buff on, let's see, a few people, several people. They're going to be able to just run down these towers now. So All it is is just him wasting all this time, man. All this time. I could uh, use a drink right now. All right, Young Blitz says, "Hold the fuck on, oh, man! You're in the wrong jungle, bitch!" And I don't think Cho'Gath gives two fucks. And he has his Frozen and his Stalkers, so uh, not Stalkers, Juggernaut, and see cooldown 40% with blip, with that blue spinning around him. Dragon is not up yet. Uh, they got this control right now. You know, Chogath, you know, he stays a beast until you're able to, uh, you know, get your items completed. If somebody's ahead and he's got 8 kills and 11 assists. You know, 111 CS as a jungler, which isn't too bad. And playing the champion named Chogath, look at him. He just goes back and buys a war mug. He's going to be so hard to kill. But if you're an 80 carry at this point, you had 300 CS, then that build wouldn't matter right now. It just wouldn't matter, you know. You have to pretty much match, uh, what do you call it? See, that's that's the thing I you know I try to teach you guys. Like, you know, when someone does well in this tank, if you're going to carry as Cho'Gath, with these items overall, you would think that they couldn't carry a game. But they can, because if it keeps happening over and over, and they keep fighting, and, he, you know, he's peeling perfectly for his team with Swain being so tanky, you know, his build actually works out. But, it you know, it definitely depends on what, you know, his AD carry and his mid laner are able to do. And they just picked up Baron. He's 5-2. and two, So, Last Whisper Triforce, IE. And boom, there's the hook. Hannah getting work. The knock up. And they're going in for the dive. As you can see, they can walk all over him now. Now, Cho'Gath is still taking a laser beam. And there you go. And this is what happens when you make it easy. And, okay, it's a little bit too deep. But I don't think they give any fucks. Oh, uh, wow. Swain still has Zanya's and Janna's working on getting this tower and this tower will go down and now they will get a free and hit and uh, let me see getting back to what I was talking about you know if but if if you're the top laner you don't have 300 CS you know you're not going to be able to do anything to that Cho'Gath too you know it's, it's the same thing you know, you want to be that guy that's super farm. And, you know, like I said, if Cho'Gath has 8 kills and 13 assists, and, you know, you aren't the one giving all that shit up to him, you can't afford to make a mistake. You can't afford the slack in uh, the pressure department. And and you got to fucking run it down their throats. And it's not that hard, man. You just didn't do it. You didn't, you know, when you watch all everything, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when I, you know, push the fuck, you know, push, get those three waves and pour it back and then... Come back in when you jungle item, and from that point on, objectives only, pressure. You know that's, you know that's that's what it's all about. If you're gonna make this game easy on yourself, and when there's opportunities to take mid turret, take mid turret, play off that, take over the enemy jungle, and 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 just continue to just push and and have your teammates uh, rotate over the mid lane with uh, J4 not running teleport, but went in lane super hard, but didn't know what to do with it. You know he pretty much just fell off. Um, he's five and six. What did have a positive score, but every single team fight or every single person that gets caught on the red or, or the blue team is just you know just getting harder and harder and getting well. It is already probably not carryable. It's already 62 to 51. Shadow's gonna have to do some real shit if he's gonna win this game. There's still a possibility, but the uh, but your mid and hib's gone, so it won't take but any time for for. A Rex Eye to come stop this this Udir. I mean, 225 CS. Uh, Udir is 215 CS. Only has uh, a Glacier Shroud for his armor item, and this guy just has enough to just be annoying as fuck and sit right in front of the deer and stop him from getting anything. Because until this red team realizes that pushing mid is pretty much a waste of time and let Udir free form here, should not back. Should probably stay and wait until they show. So Rex Eye is gonna probably pour back to stop this. Could there you go. So and. And when you know you can't kill a guy, it's not even worth fighting it. Because all you're doing is just getting low. And he's not even respecting you right now. And then now he turns on that shit, clears the wave. And he's going to fight you. Yeah, and then you're like, oh, man. Yo, man, my bad, Doge. 
and you die. So all that time you just wasted. You should have just pushed the wave out and got the fuck out. You, like I said, you, you, he's level 18 already. You're level 16. He has nothing to fuck with. You know, he has the triple set auto attack, the bite, the, the go underground, get health if he gets low. You don't have ignite. You have teleport. Um, and you already lost your mid and him. So all this shit stacking up and stacking up. And if you're not able to, you know, if you're not able to, you know, do what you need to do to win the game, you're. It's just gonna be. You know, only a matter of time before they pick up the next dragon. That's already the third dragon. And when the next Baron spawns, they might have control of your jungle. They'll probably pick you up again. So, yeah. You know, if you see somebody, you did your job top by bringing Rek'Sai here. So, pour it back and go to the opposite side of the map and push that out. And then, you know, wait and, and until the red team makes a mistake. You know, it, it's already at the point where it's like, oh, fuck, what do we do? The damage coming out is pretty strong right now. Graves getting that auto off and there's the gate. So, yeah, it's... um. It's gonna be a while, you know, it's already 35 minutes in. Rek'Sai just used his ulti, coming back in, uh, goes in onto the, uh, the Toucan camp. And now, what do they do here? Now, the red team, now, I guess this is what you want if you're the blue team. If Udair is pushing down a little bit harder. Now, no, okay. So here's the options. They don't have Baron, right? Baron spawns in 56 seconds. They did get the last Baron. So Udair needs to push this. He needs his team to pretty much just hold this and then... And keep this uh, tower from dropping and, fo and getting focused. And, and, and if they get the uh, dove, then uh, they just got to survive. That's all they have to do. They have to clear these minions right now. Katarina is off to the side. She's sitting waiting. There is the clear. So now you see how they're wasting time now. Now Uder pretty much gets a free pass. Pushes all this. Remember, he's got to go through this one. He has his elixir. If he has his elixir, he needs to pop that motherfucker right now. And let's see if he's got it popped. He's, he does have it popped. So... This only is, you know, uh, this is this is how you throw a game, I think, for the for the red team. Like he thinks he's cool tanking the oh, it's all shit slow. My bad, hold on. So we're just getting a free pass. There's no teleport. So let's go gates, and he should have been doing this from the very start, and maybe getting respected. So here, way clear. Just all you have to do is clear the minions. They're going in for the tower, but not doing enough damage. Now this is the they have a choice. The back right now. If not, they're gonna lose in him. All right, next wave's coming down. Blitz can do a little bait action. Janna thinking about back. Nobody porting back. And let's, let's see, they're still standing there. You have vision. Uh, oh, okay, there you go. Rek'Sai has his ulti, and he gets the tower, so. Now he has the back. It's pointless right now to try to even fight this guy. Now, nobody down here. They're working on getting his tower. There's the flag, the ignite. Cho'Gath tanking that laser beam. Graves doing some damage right now, but the laser beam being tanked, and he's just vamping off uh, anything on sight. And looks like they're gonna lose this game. Uder getting chased down, not able to pour it back. And that's gonna be Graves and J4 and Twain going for the end. And they are not gonna get the last, uh, what do you call it? In him, they just got, well, the minions fight. Uh, Katarina goes to the gates and Jenna picks up that tower. And they might be able to get one Nexus turn. So, yeah, you know, that's what it comes down to. You know, you gotta learn how to be selfish. Uh, and I'll probably work on, after I'm doing spectates, I'll work on my four, uh, five point, season five Udir. Uh, it was patched yesterday, right? If it was patched yesterday, then I have the game and pretty much can break it down and explain to you what you need to be doing and items and... Because like I said, you know, Platinum, ELO, it's not that hard. You know, once you get a little bit higher, it's a struggle because people don't know what to do. But, you know, at this ELO, you just pretty much do everything yourself. And and you get a, a big SC. I mean, you may think your 245 CS is enough, but you probably should have did it a little bit earlier and had the level advantage over everybody. And every little, you know, thing, you know... Uh, adds up to making the game easier everything I said, you know, it, it's all that you know, it, like I said every game's different I don't know what's gonna happen. That's why I tell you guys you never know what you're gonna do um, To win a game um, And boom, there's the banshees to pop the knock up. He's gonna go back in Swain comes back out There's the smoke and J4 double knock up. There's the flame Swain goes into ulti form and Rek'Sai flashes out no mana but Cho'Gath shows up to the party and his ulti's gonna be down for a second or two. Janna comes in. Where's the ulti? The Zanyas. Holy fuck! Knockup's coming in! Let's crank going golden and motherfucking Graves is being untouched. He goes through one of his thingies. There's a reset city coming in. Um, I don't know what the fuck just happened but Katarina came in for the cleanup and Baron is up and about live now. There's the um... Hydra Ezreal shows up at the party, the Nom, the autos coming out from everybody and Katarina, you might want to not ignore the Ezreal, that's AD, double buffed up, Sean Paul on the deer, a double kill, auto attack, red buff has been applied again and there's the crit coming out, the flies, this dude thinks he's a beast, oh no, Graves is right there, so he says, let me get up on that kill, 
and get a quadra kill and holy fuck got a little bit greedy there there's nothing you can do about that but shadow shadow you you pretty much have to watch the whole video man um playing new there is not that hard let me see if there's somebody else how many have i done so far one two all right i'm gonna do uh sin 82 gl if you're there go ahead and queue up yeah go ahead and queue up because uh I'll work on my Udyr guide. I need to be up to date on everything uh, about the deer for you guys. That's my... That's, oh. Get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. That pent of fucking bullshit. Fucking three years later.